All right, we're heading back into Blackrock processing now. Hopefully... Oh, never mind. I was going to say... Hopefully without too many problems. We got the alert when we were near the top of this, so... Looks like everything's held. And I'm guessing we're going to the Ocean View Motel here. Here. They should be open. We're looking to get a room for the night. Hello? Weird. I don't think anyone's there, honey. Come on. We'll go to that motel we passed a while back. So, uh who was it? I think it was Hope that was saying that this doesn't seem like a physical place. And it's only exists like in the planes. But with that, I'm guessing it means that it maybe is a physical place, or could be. We'll check each of these rooms. It's probably the third again, but... Never know. Oh, maybe not. Hold on. What the... Oh, remember the experiment where they're talking about rearranging the rooms and then they all kind of felt like each other? Okay, hold up, hold up. I'm going to go back to the first one because we couldn't adjust anything. So straight, right side radio, chair tucked, plant on the left. Straight, right side radio. Oh no, chair untucked then. Plant on the left. That looks good. Oh, what the? That's new. Oh, this third one did open. Cool. That's so cool. The control room. I wonder, oh man, I'm just thinking, the name of the game, control, when you're talking about experimenting, you've always got a control that you're comparing everything else to. And that just hit me so hard that this could be exactly what we're dealing with. Again, we only have access to this room. Okay. Okay, now. We saw this platform when we were on this one. And that's how we get to it, it seems. Okay. Now I realize where we're at. We somehow... I have no idea. I need to get like somewhere <laughs> way over there. You know what, I'm not, I'm gonna go this way. We came from there. Let's... Uh, 
Okay, there we go. Yeah, right, 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 right. It's coming back to me how we access that now. Cool. And the bridge is fully formed because remember we came out here and it was not fully formed. And we saw that, we saw these, which one of those we've accessed. And this took us into that maze area where we had no control over where we were going. <laughs> That's so, so cool. What? This is not what I was expecting. Okay, we need to find a way to Blackrock processing. That's where Marshall said we'd find it. Level five clearance, my ass. Just a radio. Launch efficiencies. Fourteen or fifteen. Let's ditch the fourteen. I'm still happy with our with our current uh, setup, actually. Reminder. If the contents of your workspace have been rearranged, removed, added to, or altered in any other way, you should immediately leave the area while speaking to yourself in a reassuring tone. This will not only keep you calm, but also the room. Nice. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> Very helpful. I go into into bathroom one more time after this one. <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. Atlas theory. An atlas is a physical expression created by the oldest house. Its purpose and function are currently unknown. The specific shape and dimensions of the atlas, see file ATL03 for said dimensions, seem to indicate a more explicit purpose than the oldest house's usual walls, floors, or shifts. The atlas changes form but resists observation when doing so. No visual observation has been made bet during its change, and it only ever occurs between frames when monitored by surveillance cameras. Previous theory was that this change corresponds to house shifts, and that the atlas is a redacted of redacted itself. However, the shape changes do not occur at the same time as the building shifts, which makes this theory doubtful. Structurally, the atlas is made of the same redacted material as the rest of the oldest house, Further observation will hopefully aid in discovering its purpose. I feel like a good activity would be to play like uh, the the what pronoun verb noun game where you you try to figure out like are these is this a verb a pronoun whatever proper noun and then you just ask somebody randomly to give you one and then you just start putting them in there. There'd be some good ones. Network disconnected. Okay, well, that's probably bad. Of course, that's where we need to be, so sweet. Oh, I thought... That was weird. Well, I'll help first. behind me. Damn, sneaky. Oh, I should have taken him. Oh, yeah, let's take one of these big boys. Cool. Minor casualties. Ooh, a seize accelerator! Yes! 
I know exactly what that's going to do. <sighs> the problem is... <laughs> okay, 9% energy. I can get over that. Sea speed basically cut in half, right? Uh, we'll get rid of... Ooh, not that one. Get rid of this. I don't even know where we picked this up. During an AWE investigation, our agents discovered a light switch cord in a Butte bungalow closet. They pulled the cord and were instantly transported to the Ocean View Motel and Casino. They pulled the cord three times. Dream like hell. <laughs> Inside, <laughs> they found a door marked with an inverted black pyramid. And just like that, it led back to the oldest house, some 2,000 miles from Montana. N now we're finding the cord in increasing numbers throughout the Bureau. Somehow the two places, huh. they, they became in tune to each other. The, the actual physical location of the ocean view is, is, is a mystery. Stepping beyond its walls has so far proven impossible. A place of power. Like the oldest house. <sighs> the oldest house. Altered workspace. Hmm. Don't worry, guys. I'm here to cleanse it. On today's episode of Fixer Upper. It's beautiful. I haven't seen Arish for a while. Good that he's still alive. I'm just going to check the rooms real quick. Hello? Nice. Also, uh, I'm so excited to use that. I feel bad who f for whoever's going to need to rebuild this place because that is going to be a lot of work. Back at you, buddy. They've each taken a few hits. We need to get them to a surgical station ASAP, but I don't think they're stable enough to move. Oh, yeah? They're gonna have to be. Going <laughs> out, and I am not leaving them behind. Now, do what you need to do. Ranger Squad Charlie 7 returned from an expedition into the quarry threshold just after 0500 Zulu. Can you please state your names and describe the purpose of your expedition? Kevin Horowitz, Rupert Well. Our mission was to map quarry grid coordinates G29. Secondary objective, as always, is to find a route from the threshold entrance and maintenance to the formation. Secondary objective was not a success. What a surprise. And did you encounter any previously unrecorded event or entity while inside the threshold? No. Nothing. Do you think we should tell them about the mermaid? Excuse me? <laughs> what? Yeah, the mermaid. Horowitz here found this mermaid in a quarry just sitting on some black rock. She was singing this beautiful song, and he was overcome with desire. Like a siren. Oh, You're fine. So we'll push through this. I'd say she was more the enchanting the than alluring. Fine, enchanting. Um, did you tell your CO about this? No. Because it didn't happen. Nothing happened. As usual, the quarry is full right. of rocks. That's it. Right. Here we go now. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Get out of here. <laughs> Trench's behavior. 
Have you noticed the recent tension between Trench and Darling? Lately, they've both been acting odd. Now, we've heard of this before. Trench concerns me the most. His sudden hostility toward Darling's project is very unlike him, because they always got along, right? He was the one to approve all this Hedron research in the first place, but after Darling unveiled those HRAs, he was livid. I personally don't see any reason not to equip Bureau staff with an additional protective device, especially if it's not as strong as Darling says. What do you make of this? Have you seen anything from either of them that strikes you as odd? Let's talk in person soon before the next Bureau heads meeting. From Marshall to Salvador. Hey, thanks for bringing down that... Whatever the fuck that was. Rish Cumberbatch. But we are barely holding on here, boss. How's the situation outside maintenance? What do I tell him? The truth is harsh, but these people seem familiar with death. The hiss are everywhere. Most of the Bureau is lost. We need Blackrock Prism to make more HRAs for any survivors in the safe rooms. I'm here to check Darling's Blackrock lab. So to recap, uh, death, disaster, and imminent destruction. The three Ds. Another day at the FBC. But Darling's lab is just past Blackrock processing. But I got good news and I got bad news on that front. Good news is, it's right down the hall. Bad news is, a hiss monster has decided to move in. Huh. That's great. <sighs> cool. Monster. That's what the Rangers said. The ones that survived, anyway. But we are just treading water here, and the hiss keep coming. Salvador would know what to do, but apparently he took a security team into the containment sector just before the lockdown happened, and well, no one's seen him since. But hey, at least we got you, our fearless leader. They shouldn't rely on me. <laughs> they don't know me. They don't know how I failed people. You've done a good job here, Arish, but you should take your people and get to the base and executive. You can regroup there. I'll go deal with this monster. So pretty soon we're going to meet up with everybody kind of used to them. in executive. Aye, aye, Faden. And be sure to put a bullet in that thing for me. So if it's one single monster, that pierce weapon sounds pretty good. Um, let's swap this one. Expedition debrief. Okay, cool. I wonder if this wraps around on the bottom side, or if this is something I should check. Oh, it's not letting me. Arish wasn't kidding about that monster. Holy frick. Okay, I think I need level 5 security to get back there. Swan boat? What the heck is that? Oh, a toy. Item is made of fiberglass paint. Oh, maybe not a toy. Foot pedals allow the item to propel forward in water. Item emits a pulse of physical force, an estimated force of redacted, possible connection to OOP5. Measuring the exact force created by the item has been hindered by concerns from the Human Resources Department. The item was seized from an activity rental service called Redacted, located on Lake Redacted on Vancouver Island, Canada after it ejected numerous riders over the course of the summer, bringing the boat to the attention of the media. The item was transport transported to the Bureau by helicopter. A containment specialist accompanied it, went to recite formulas C9 through 32 recursively. What occurred in the helicopter is not known, but all agents were lost in the crash. The item was recovered and transported by train. It arrived at the Bureau without further incident. That is effed right up. Can we just use this black rock? Sitting here all nicely stacked and everything? No? Okay, cool. That's good. 
I'm gonna switch this to the grip. You showed me the HRA when I first got here, and the machine that makes them. Can you help me find a prism? Are you serious? Are you serious right now? <laughs> God damn it. You know what? We're gonna do this. Whatever it is. Shit. They're shattered. What the fuck? Oh, that is... Something special. That is different, all right. What? Oh, okay. Let's just save our energy and we'll try a, an evade. Hiss distorted. Hiss distorted agents are able to render themselves invisible and emit a powerful concussive blast when in range of their target. Curiously, the hiss distorted is apparently not able to utilize both abilities at once, must make itself visible when it goes in the offensive. Uh, the Distorted is unique in the fact that it wields a paranatural ability previously unknown to the Bureau, perhaps tapping into a yet undiscovered object of power. How does this invisibility work? Does the Distorted become resent resonance temporarily? Does it use Hiss resonance to refract light? The physical deformation of the particular Hiss entity is noteworthy in its thoroughness. Clearly, the human host would have died from such extreme alteration, which prompts the question, are the corrupted simply animated corpses? Let's hurry up and find Darling's lab. The frick was that noise? Just want to see if we got anything laying around here. We don't. There are areas in the oldest house where under the right conditions, when the frequencies match, other dimensions leak in. We call these areas thresholds. He's so stoked. The quarry is one of the more stable thresholds in the maintenance sector. That's, that's where black rock comes from. Extra dimensional matter. It has the unique property of blocking out a lot of frequencies. A, a good thing. It keeps things stable, contained. Think of it as paranatural lead. Our research involves many dangerous things we absolutely need to keep in check. That's what the Black Rock line fire breaks are about. The Panopticon container cells. Uh, sorry to interrupt, sir, but it's I need the code for the quarry elevator. Oh, uh, Emily. The codes. Black Rock 665. Oh, okay. Neighbor of the Beast. Get it? Neighbor of the Beast 666. Cool. We can do that again if you want. <laughs> He's good, man. He, I think he loves making these videos, too. He loves it. Where under the right conditions, when the frequencies match, other dimensions... Oh! We call these this should get... Sick. This into the quarry. The quarry is one of the more stable thresholds in the maintenance sector. That's, that's where Black Rock comes from. You heard that, too, right? Sure did. Black Rock comes from a threshold. Black Rock has allowed the Bureau to make great strides in containment procedures since it was first discovered. This report will examine how its very structure is comprised of redacted density that nullifies all resonances within a range of redacted to redacted hertz. Bureau innovations that incorporate Black Rock will be analyzed, but uh, most notably the fire breaks, feats of engineering designed to contain any future outbreaks, attacks, or other internal threats. The goal of this report is to encourage Bureau staff to explore further innovations using BlackRock, as work in that field has marked markedly slowed in recent years. Ari, 
So the prisms must be there too. I would assume. You know what that would make me? Everything here right. is crazy. Weird, but it feels right. Like how the world should be. Hmm. I am in an infinite building leading to different dimensions, and I never want to leave. Even with all the horror, I'm happy. It feels safe. Just the right kind of thing. Look at where we are, man. We've been here. Hello. If I find a control point, I will uh, definitely take us back. To research, to help. What the? Oh. Ah! Well, that is goddamn convenient. Let me tell you. Uh, where was it that we needed to go? Is research? Personnel. We need to go to parapsychology. Personnel protection. This one is going to be hard. <laughs> Let's see. Parapsychology. Astral exhibition looks closer, but I don't know if it's like... I'm just going to go here. I think the first one of these that we failed before we failed a couple in a row was a personnel protection one. So I'm just going to try and stay a lot closer to them, maybe. Yeah, see? What the hell? Did I see that wrong? Yeah, parapsychology's up here. Oh, that was parakinesiology. I'm in the right spot. That's way faster. Kill him, boys. He's with us.
Don't touch my agents. Jeez, that's so awkward. Well, we did it this time. <sighs> it looked like one of our guys was going to die there. Oh, okay, we're not done. Switch to this weapon. It is the worst feeling. Wow. Take out the kneecaps. It's where they're weak. Yikes. That was, uh... Okay. Problem solved. Problem solved. These are kind of weak... But more importantly than... Are you serious? More importantly than that stuff, we need the uh, materials. For upgrades and such. Yeah, ball.
Are we done here? Are we done here? Wow. Wow. Maybe it just never ends. Unlimited farm. Oh, whoops. Where's the ball? Nice. Unreal. <laughs> I can't believe what's happening here. He knows. Whoa. He's looking for something. Like, holy. Alright. We've done it. We're alive. <laughs> Barely. That was wild. Uh, but, cool changes of pace. Okay, reload efficiency. Uh, so, I'm curious as to whether or not these stack. The damage after kills really nice, though. Um, so I'll just take this. And let's get rid of this one. Ammo cost per shot, 10%. Pretty nice. I think we'll hold. Okay, so we're going to go back here to the Black Rock Quarry area. And... Let's see. Atlas Chamber. I think so, right? Okay. Guys, wish me luck. We're doing great. We'll see you soon. Bye.